Let's just go through some of the changes that have been introduced in Executor CR3 Lite Cool Runner Revision. Uh, firstly, these are the contents of the package. So you get you you get your Cool Runner chip with an DC pad, fat and slim cable set. So TX have introduced four LK solder pads. These are so LK one, two, three, and four solder pads. Uh, depending on your console type, uh, you either have to leave them as open or you have to short or bridge these connections. Uh, other things that have been introduced, they have introduced S2 and S4 to dip switch settings. Uh, again, uh, this is so that you can fine tune the glitch timing of your console and obtain the optimal glitch timings. So these are the few changes that have been introduced uh, when comparing to Cold Runner Revision A, B or Revision C. Next, uh, for the Corona version 1 and the Corona version 2, because gen generally all the Corona versions, these are the settings. Uh, LK1 open, LK3 open, LK4 open initially. And the only connection that you have to short is LK2. Uh, there's another setting for LK4, you can either bridge 1 and 2 or you can bridge 2 and 4. Again, you, these are the settings. Uh, that you can tweak when you are in the testing phase and when you are trying out what's the best glitch timing and what's the best uh, uh, optimal glitch time for your console. Now with the Corona model uh, there are quite a few things uh, that uh, we would like to go through first. Um, if you are sure, 100% sure that your soldering is accurate uh, now there are these are the possible scenarios when you solder your Executor CR3 light onto your Corona motherboard. First, suppose um, first one is um, when you solder your Cool Runner CR3 light onto the board with the default settings of uh, recommended by TX and the default cable sets and and the cable lengths. Uh, the first scenario is suppose your console boots up in the first go fine stick with that setting no need to tweak it second is your cool runner doesn't glitch it stays red this means that you have to have at least one setting on your s2 uh, switch third is your console takes very long to boot and these are some of the things you can do to tweak it you can play around with s2 dip switch settings and s4 and you can change lk4 solder pads you can try one and two you can bridging try one and two or you can try bridging two and three or you can try uh, there are eight um, so far there are eight corona uh, glitch timing file for the corner so you have to try pretty much all of these just to see which one suits your console the final one this is a tough one uh, to deal with if you're sure your soldering is accurate and you have tested uh, once you have soldered your cool runner it uh, boots stock and fine but it doesn't glitch this is this is the one that gets a bit tough these are the things you can do uh, to to have a Zell attempted to attempt a Zell boot up and obtain the CPU key First, uh, there are a few alternate points. With the slim versions, CPU reset, the long blue cable is very important. Um, you can try out a few alternate points. First, uh, the recommended one is C5R11 point, but in order to solder to that point, you have to take out the X clamp. It adds a bit of extra work. You have to remove the fan, add remove the old thermal compound add the new thermal compound so there's a bit of extra work with that there's t three other points so far uh, you can solder to ft3 t10 and then there is r4 p4 point and then there is another one located on the top of the motherboard as well so i'll be showing you all these three all these alternate points and uh, and the most convenient one is ft3 t10 you can try soldering to that point uh, next you can try out uh, different lengths of the long CPU reset cable. This is very important if your console doesn't uh, boot Zell after you know trying so many settings then this is what you need to do. You need the, the default uh, length is 54-55 centimeter approximately so you 
uh, if it doesn't boot you have to cut it to 10 to 14 centimeter and try soldering on to the different alternate points and the recommended one next try out with the shielded cable the, you know one of the shielded cables next if it still doesn't work you have to stick with the with the general Kynar 30AWG wires so these are the few things that you can do to uh, um, obtain CPU key and attempt a Zell boot uh, Corona version 1 version 2 pretty much many uh, they, they all have different settings so you have to try out all these few different variations in order to obtain the best glitch time or to obtain the CPU key uh, this, this is quite a few trial and trial and error things uh, and these are the things that you uh, you can do to obtain the uh, to obtain the CPU key uh, I'll be showing you uh, quite a few settings that you can try out recommended on the TX forums and everything you can go through that as well so I uh, will just point out all the settings that you can try all the different cable lengths different cables uh, possible alternate uh, points as and switch and LK4 settings alright this is a final product this is what we're going to achieve CRT light soldered glitched obtained optimal glitch timing and finally free boot installed we decided we're going to do a video of one of the very stubborn corner bows just to show you all the, if not all at least the possible scenarios uh, uh, that may be required in order to glitch your console there's no point of making a video where the console just boots up with the default settings so what are we going to do we're going to pretty much try many different tests different variations different scenarios uh, we're going to firstly uh, try the, uh, the basics we're going to start with the basics recommended settings so we, uh, from the team executor so we're going to have uh, recommended settings such as LK solder pads recommended by team executor dip switch settings and we're gonna try different variations of CPU reset we're gonna solder it to different points alternate points we're gonna try different lengths we're gonna try uh, 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 if it doesn't boot up at all we're gonna try with the Kynar wire try with the different cool under timing files uh, so be sh ensure to prepare for to try out all these possible scenarios uh, if and hopefully uh, your console will glitch and good luck to you all.